Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another Kong tutorial. This time I'm going to try to create four Kong um, pad banks. Um, so you get four kits. This is the usual behavior of some of the um, 16 pad controllers that are out there. Um, so let's see if we can do this in Reason and have it all created within the actual uh, Kong device. So first off, as usual, create a combinator. I am going to turn on the empty combinator patch, which gives you the uh, submix. But I'm going to delete that submix because I want to have the 14-2 mixer. So let's create that. And underneath that, let's hold the shift key down and let's create the Kong drum designer. Um, this one's not going to be rooted to anything. This is going to be our um, main Kong. So this is the main Kong that we're going to trigger everything from. Um, underneath that, I am going to create a Thor. I'm still going to hold Shift down, create a Thor. I'm going to initialize the Thor patch. And then underneath that, I am going to create, in order, uh, four Kong designers, four Kong drum designers. Okay, so we've got four Kongs there. Okay, now let's flip this to the back, um, and you're going to see everything, all the Kongs are rooted to the four, first four channels. I'm going to remove these cables because I'm not going to use those. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is turn it around. I'm going to load up a couple of kits. So we're going to load up the Deep House kit in the first Kong. I'm going to load up the Down Tempo kit in the second Kong. I'm going to load up the Kong kit in the third. And finally, I'm going to load up the pop kit in the last one. Now, once again, let's flip it over to the back. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this gate trigger. Um, we're going to have each of the gate outs from the main Kong start triggering the gate ins for the um, other Kong. So what we'll do is we'll just do that. Gate out is going to go to... Whoops to the gate in there. I'm just going to turn this off for now. So the gate out is going to go into all of these. And it's going to be a one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, three is going to go to three. Whoops. Four is going to go to four. And so on and so forth. So I'm just going to set that up quickly. And then once that's set up, I'm going to come back and we will show you what we're going to do. Also, um, we're going to keep on linking these and once these are linked we're going to keep linking downwards so we're going to just keep going down so that um, they all get triggered so two triggers two three triggers three all the way down so once you finish that I'll come back and I'll show you how to complete this okay so once you have everything completed what's happening is you've got this main Kong which is going to trigger all four of these uh, Kongs the only thing that we're going to do though is we're going to take the gate out and we're going to remove the gate out on 16 so on Kong pad number 16 take everything out okay because we're not going to be using that and we need to leave that free this is going to be the pad that switches things so what you're going to do is you're going to send the gate output from 16 to the gate in triggering of Thor. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip around. You're going to select um, the first two notes, note values of Thor. Um, you're going to set this to curve. I'll just show you that. The run mode is going to be step, uh, direction is forward, and the curve is going to be one. So what you're going to do is on curve number one, you're going to send this to 100. And on curve two, you're going to send this to zero. Remove all the other steps. And you're going to have this only go to two. So you've got two steps here. Okay. Now, in the source, what you're going to do, actually before you do that, you're going to have to turn on the step sequencer if it's not already on. And then in the source, you're going to go down to the... Um, Step sequencer, curve one is going to be 100. And also, step sequencer, curve two is going to be 100. And the destination is going to go to the CV output one. And this one is going to go to CV output two. Okay. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to flip this around. 
and you're going to have CV output 1 and 2, which are going to be um, triggering. And what this is going to do is it's going to trigger the mixer. So you're going to go CV1 is going to trigger the level CV in on number 1, and CV output number 2 is going to trigger the level on CV output number 2, on the level output 2. You're going to turn these up all the way. You're going to flip this around. You're going to move all of these level faders all the way down to 0 because now you're controlling the level completely through this CV1 and CV2, which is in turn controlled by the CV out 1 and the CV out 2 here by the curve. So if the curve is at 100, it's going to be forcing the level to go up to 100. If the CV is at number 2, it forces it to go up to 0. That's basically the way it works. And this is how you switch between pads. So once you've done that, take your Thor, duplicate the device and tracks, okay? Uh, flip this around, and again, what we're going to have to do now is go up here and create a CV merger splitter. Okay, open up Thor again. This trigger is going to go into the splitter. You're going to have one split going into this trigger, and you're going to have another split going into the other trigger on the second Thor. Okay, and the last thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to send CV1 output to the third level um, CV input. Turn these both up, and then this is going to go to the fourth as well. So number two is going to go to four. And the only other thing you're going to have to do, actually now that I think about it, what you're going to have to do is go back in here. You're going to have to have four steps. So it's going to be like this. And all of these are going to be at zero for curve one. And the same thing for curve two, it's going to be zero. And the second one is going to be at 100. Okay. So basically, what's happening is at curve one, you've got the first step being 100 and all the other steps being zero. Curve two, you've got the first, third, and fourth step at zero, and you've got the second one at 100. Now go down into here, and for curve one on the other Thor, you're going to have. Both of these are going to be zero. Turn these on. The third one is going to be at 100. And the fourth one is going to be zero. And you have to start it at number one. Okay, so the, both number one steps have to be yellow. Same thing with curve two, except that now you're going to put the first three at zero. And the th fourth one is going to be set to 100. Come on. Okay, there you go. Okay, so that's going to be curve one, curve two. Curve one, curve two. All right. So now you're pretty much set up. You can remove these, and this is going to be renamed to CV1 and 2. And this is going to be renamed to CV. Three and four. Okay. So now that you've had that set up, what you can do is you can start to play. And this drum here is going to be your pad bank switch. So now you're on three. This will give you to four. This will get you back to one. So now you've got four banks here, and you can see it switching. OK, and that's how you create four pad banks based on using Thor. Now this is not layered like in the past tutorial where I showed you uh, things are layering. In this case what you're doing is you're doing a straight switch from one to the other and you got four pad banks that you can control from this one pad here. And you can save that as a combinator and um, yeah there's your four pad banks. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, come back to my site at reason101.net and uh, I will make this patch available so that you can download it in a couple of days once I write up the, the full tutorial on this. So thanks for watching and uh, happy music making.